1,500 fans, five times their average home attendance, followed Bedlington Terriers to Scunthorpe. Commentary from Trevor Harris. Bedlington testing, Scunthorpe in the air again. Good pressure that by Gibb. And Bond goes down to McCauley's challenge. And the referee says that'll be a free kick. Chance for Bedlington to put some more pressure on this Scunthorpe goal. Clearly a foul, the elbow out from the defender, Sean McCauley. Scunthorpe concerned enough to have three in the wall. Pike has several to aim at. He might go for gold instead, and he did! And it took an excellent save from Tim Clark to stop Pike giving the amateurs the lead. He got some curl on it, and he got some dip on it as well. And Clark had to be alert and agile. Corley with the free kick, and that's a penalty, says Eddie Lomas. The foul by Melrose, who looks aghast, but Eddie Lomas had no doubt he's showing Bellington there, it's for a tug on the shirt, and he had no hesitation. In, there it is, just there, and that's a good decision by the referee, and it gives Scunthorpe after 51 minutes the chance to take the lead. Consoling pat on the back for Melrose. But when he sees it again tonight, the one it was a penalty. So, we've got John Eyre against Paul O'Connor. And that is really cheeky. It's 1-0 Scunthorpe. You can't hear the non-league fans now, I think that's what they're saying. You won't see a more confident penalty than that in the FA Cup this season. was sure the keeper was going the other way that is very classy and very brave Johnson Marshall blocked he's going to come back to Harsley who can strike the ball well blocks again and it's in this time from Forrester and that surely is it now the game's up for Bedlington Terriers 2 nothing scunned for they had three goes at it the home side twice Bellington got a block in but they couldn't stop for us for a third time first effort was from the substitute Marshall the second one from Harsley Polex the defender and the classic side foot from Jamie Forrester perfectly placed quick throw out from O'Connor trying to set Ludlow away he's got Support in the middle, and he's played it straight to Hope. And onside, Darren Stamp. Must be three, surely. And that's either a fantastic tackle from Craig Melrose, or a penalty that's not been given. But he did fantastically well to get back and get some sort of challenge in. Did he play the ball, though? No, he didn't. The importance of this is that means it uh, gives us a chance of getting a big club and then we can uh, make some money out of it because it, it's vital for this club to uh, try and achieve some sort of success in the cup and uh, try and get some money out of it.